Hello, and hello from inside the Hunter Museum. This is Chris um, for today's Facebook Live. We're really excited. Uh, Natalie Mead, one of our curators, is also here today with me. Um, so we're going to be giving you kind of a fun project challenge, um, but we're also going to talk a little bit how the museum uh, uses the skills that we're going to be showing you in real life. Um, this is exciting for us to be able to say hi to you from within the galleries. For those of you who don't know or who have been waiting, the museum is opening to the public starting tomorrow on Thursday. So we're really excited to welcome our guests back. As you see, we're wearing our masks. We're asking everyone to come in that's over the age of five to wear a mask along with the Hamilton County um, regulations. And there's more information on our website about all of the rules um, and things that we're asking people to do. But we're very excited to have people coming back. So today, we have kind of a design challenge project. Um, and we started this with Hamilton County Schools on Monday. There's a group of awesome kids from kindergarten through eighth grade who are doing a design challenge to make their own mini museum and mini gallery. And one of the cool things I have to show you here is that at the museum, our curators do, in fact, build and make these miniature museum and gallery models to help them figure out how to arrange everything into the galleries. So our challenge to you is to use paper and boxes and magazines or your own little miniature art or even artwork that you can find on the Hunter website to create your own mini gallery. But I'm gonna have Natalie talk a little bit about what they do in the curation department to design and prepare for a gallery. Hello everyone out there. Um, so as Chris said, my name is Natalie. I'm the associate curator here at the Hunter Museum. So I feel like that word curator is one that we've probably all heard of before, but it's definitely one of those words that is kind of a buzzword. It's a fun word to use in related to everything from the um, curation of your clothing to curating a beautiful plate. The difference here um, as a curator at the museum is that we're not just standing back and saying, yes, I love that painting, place it here on this wall. We really do a whole lot of research into what works go where, because we want to be able to present kind of a story. Um, that's how we determine what goes on the walls. And we do a lot of research to determine what gets said about each work which you can see in the labels um, next to each of the, of the paintings and drawings that we have on display. So as Chris mentioned, one of our great tools is this model. The model that we have is of our temporary exhibition space. This comes in handy a lot because we're talking about an exhibition square space that can be um, anywhere from about 2,000 to about 5,000 square feet. So if you're talking about you know, putting on display maybe one or two paintings, it can be an easier way of just standing back and deciding aesthetically what looks good. But when you're talking about a space that is this big, we really need to plan it out. If you were here most recently for the exhibition um, Southbound, that exhibition had over 200 photographs. So we first needed to make sure that all of those photographs could fit within this space. The space is scaled exactly to the size of the galleries. So if you are up in the gallery space and you measure 24 inches, 24 inches in real life is going to be one inch here on this model. So what we do is we take any of the works and we size them down exactly as they would match this model. And then we can tape them within the space to see what works and how many more works we might be able to fit within the space. This model is also really neat because it has some movable walls and we can move them around as well. So I like to say that this is kind of like playing dollhouse, but really a lot of technical skill does go into this uh, ability to play dollhouse and figure out um, how to organize an exhibition um, and show it to you. Yay! So I don't know if any of you ever played dollhouses or made models at home. It's one of my favorite things. 
um, to do when I was little, and I honestly still love to kind of put things together on a shelf or um, help decorate rooms and rearrange furniture and all that. So we kind of want you to take on this challenge and that same kind of creative thought. You can think about everything from the color of the walls. So for example, the gallery that we're in right now, which is Dreams, Trances, and Reveries, a Visionary Art of the Gilded Age, it has a theme. So I'm gonna kind of do a little spin <laughs> with Natalie. And you'll see that all of the artwork in this room is really thinking about the poetics of art, uh, light, the way light is used in landscapes as well as portraits, right? So there's a theme, there's a repetition in the type of art that you see in this room. So you can think about a theme for your gallery. You can think about what color you want the walls to be. You can think about what kind of art you want. It can be sculpture. You can have benches for people to sit on. You might have things that are interactive that they can play with or move. So you're kind of creating your own creative fun space. So we want you to do that. And I'm gonna grab one of these little signs here because I wanna show you. So these are made of foam core, okay, which you can get from craft stores. But at home, see how this is constructed? Hot glue gun, a little bit of glue, cardboard, okay? Or you can even take a piece of paper and fold it to the side to make like a small L, and that way it can balance and glue across the bottom. And then you can decorate it with your own artwork. You can make your own things. Um, my kids at home, they've used twist ties. Um, they've used little bits. We've taken photographs that we have of family and cut them out so they can come and visit the museum inside of our mini gallery. Um, you can even use pipe cleaners and things like that to sculpt and create your own space. So that is this week's challenge. Um, I mentioned before that we also gave this challenge to a group of Hamilton County School students. We're gonna be sharing those out, some of the works on Friday. And absolutely, please, if you make a little miniature gallery or a miniature museum, please share it with us. Please send us a picture. We would love to share it out and see what you've made. Um, and we look forward to seeing what kind of creative ideas you come up with. So thank you so much for joining us. Yay. Thank you. And we're so excited that you guys will be able to start coming to the museum tomorrow on Thursday. So we hope to see you all there. Uh, please visit our website for more information about that. And we'll hopefully see you soon. Have a Bye. great day, guys. <laughs> That's it. It was okay. <laughs>